I've been talking a little bit about the VIX 9D, which is the nine day VIX. So if you're familiar with the regular VIX, the regular VIX measures the at the money options of SPX 30 days out. So the 30 day at the money SPX options is what the VIX is calculated on. So if we're putting on trades, you know, 25, 30, 35 days out, looking at the regular VIX can be a decent uh, thing to look at just from a standpoint as a reference to what overall volatility is doing in those options. But if you but but if you think about our shorter term strategies, like the TGIF is a perfect example. We like to put these on between three and nine days in the front week. And so is the 30-day VIX really the best indication of volatility? Probably not, but the nine day would be a better indication, right? Because that's a shorter term. And so uh, one of the questions was, how am I using VIX 9D to make my decisions? Well, I'm using it the same way I use the regular VIX, right? It's just to be used as reference. The, the difference is sometimes you'll see, you know, the regular VIX might be positive. You know, it might be expanding, whereas the shorter term nine day VIX might be contracting. So we like to put on these TGIF trades on days when implied volatility is contracting. So I would put a little bit more weight in that 9D to reference, okay, is implied volatility contracting today or is it expanding? Uh, I, would, I would note that 9D is a little bit more uh, of a heavier weight as far as just determining whether implied volatility is contracting or expanding. So that's that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, one other thing to mention while I'm while I'm on that topic is, you know, there's also the VIX 3M, which is the three month. So that measures the at the money options of SPX 90 days out. Okay, so if you are part of our option selling and you're doing some of these longer duration short strangles that we that we trade, where we're trading them 80, 90, 100 days out, that is going to be, a, you know, a better indication of what of what volatility is doing at that time frame. So it's just a matter of kind of matching up the the duration of volatility with the options that you're actually trading.